that's coming from them also. There's a lot of uh, veteran women who are out in the field who are um, deployed in Iraq, uh, doing a lot of services other than, um, I guess, uh, nursing and things like that. They're truckers, uh, drivers. They're on the front line with you guys. Uh, yeah. yeah. And see, this, now this right here would be the, the first war that we experienced this. You know, that the women are actually, you know, on the front line and things exactly, like that. Exactly. You know. So you're interacting. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, wow. Okay. And and have you, since you've been home, have you been in contact with any? Um, I stay in contact with a few people that I, um, that I actually uh, gotten deployed with. Um, but besides that, um, there's a lot of contacts that I uh, have lost over time. Sure. And they just now, how long have you been home? Uh, I got home in 2004. Okay. okay. Around the 2003, 2004. Oh, okay. Now, are the women soldiers, of, are they referred to as soldiers also? Yes, or? they are. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, they get the same utmost respect as any other uh, male would get. Oh, okay. Wow. Now, what part of Iraq were you in? I was uh, stationed in uh, Taji, Iraq. It's um, between Balad and uh, Bayab. Bayab is um, Baghdad. Wow. So, um, I was out there for a year and a half. Wow. And so you yeah, were. I'm sorry, not a year and a half, but a year. So you was there when actually the bulk of the war was. Yeah, going. from pretty much where uh, I think uh, Third Division they started it, then uh, we came in and um, held down like Taji, uh, Balad, um, Tikrit, things of that nature. Okay. Now, what was the feeling between the American soldiers and let's say the Iraqi people? What what? Because because we seen different images. I remember in 1991 we saw people were happy. Uh -huh. You know they were you know terror. Yeah, there were some people who were actually happy to see us. There was others who weren't uh, as happy. Sure. You know, but um, how we say like during the day they work with us at night. You know, it has them trying to kill you. But I mean, what can you do? It's, right. You know, it's war. It's war. Yeah. It's war. So uh, you know, you just try to make the most of what you have and, and try to be is uh, polite and uh, cordial to the people there, you know. Okay, okay. Now, what would you like the people to know that, uh, uh, I, I guess, uh, we, we were you know, walking around questions, but why not at this stage? Uh, the reason why they should support this focus on That's care in organizations um, like this. I here. think they should support a lot of veteran uh, organizations, especially like Focus on Care, because uh, you're, we're actually here for our vets. Um, we're trying to um, establish, uh, like I said again, avenues where the vets can actually come home, have some place to um, to come to and, and talk to people. And if they were um, placed in and focused on caring, where they get the best attention, the best time, you know, it's like, you know, when you come home from being deployed, you need a place where you can just get yourself together. Sure, You need sure. time um, yeah. to... Um, Athlete More of a exactly. home environment, exactly. not an institution. Exactly, not an institution. Because in service, you're used to the hard exactly. doors and the, and the concrete walls yeah, and, and things like that. Yeah. You need somewhere where you can just acclimate to being back, to being a civilian, and uh, getting your uh, your thoughts together, your mind together, and your life together. Okay, okay. Well, all right. Okay, well, uh, are you guys on Facebook? I remember the last time you talked uh, about Yes, sir. I believe, uh, I don't recall. It might be focused. It should be focused on caring at Facebook.com. Okay, well, we want to look that up. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. All right, we're going to go back to Grace Jones. Grace, what do you want to say at this moment? You've been absorbing everything. <laughs> well, um, pretty much, uh, you know, all the support, you know, the main thing is is, is constant support. I mean, we're at the beginning stages of putting together a nonprofit organization, but at the same time, support means everything sure. as far as uh, not just the donation part, but more or less, you know, from the community of different aspects and avenues. And again, just like my cousin was saying, as far as the fact of uh, giving any information on our website, uh, any suggestions, any help. I mean, you know, we need support more than anything. You know, uh, we're looking to build, we're looking to expand, and we're looking to help the homeless and disabled veterans. That's the main uh, focus of Focus on Caring. So, you know, basically, you know, at this time, we, I would just like to say we can be reached by uh, Post Office Box 98, Scotch Plains, New Jersey, 07076. Our website is www.focusoncaring.org. We also have an email, which we're on AOL, focusoncaring at aol.com. Um, those are three different avenues that we can be reached. Uh, anybody have any questions, suggestions? I mean, we also have uh, payable checks to the website if you decide that you know you uh, look into 
the PayPal Avenue of our website. Sure. Uh, you know, for those, you know, like I said, I know it's hard times right now and a lot of people, you know, are struggling. We're all struggling. Sure. But we all take the opportunity to, to uh, still give the support where support is needed, you know. And, 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 and even though we're struggling, we still have to live. And everybody has to, at some point, uh, uh, have to uh, sleep and have a comfortable surrounding. Exactly. You know? And this right here is exactly. what you guys are offering more than just the institution. Right. You know, like when you can have uh, uh, the, the great doors and things of that right. nature, you know, the, the stone walls. I mean, you guys are actually now offering the house. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, we make it a, a very comfortable and, and home-like surrounding for our, our veterans as far as, uh, you know, comfortable environment. Uh, suitable and, and, and uh, very substantial meals, yeah. three course meals, you know, a day. Uh, you know, it's nothing that we don't look at to do as a family. I mean, it's a family oriented uh, business. So, you know, more or less, you know, uh, we just like to, to let everyone know. I mean, it's a, it's a very suitable and comfortable environment uh, for our veterans. And we're not just looking to just spread the word and not let people know that, you know, we. My aunt has been doing this for more than 25 years, yes. and she's taken it very lightly as to, you know, everything that's entailed and in, in getting involved. But it's, it's not an easy task, and it's not an easy job. But again, it makes a difference when you have an environment that, you know, people feel comfortable with. I mean, whether you're a homeless or disabled veteran, feeling comfortable is the main concern and, as, and as far as, and, and that's what we do. We, we, coming we, back we, into to society and everything. And, exactly. And it's just a shame that, you know, so, as I said earlier, so many people will uh, lift a flag up during the war, but will they reach their hand out and right. help the, the veterans? Or do they, some of the people that they pass as homeless on the corner, and they may frown at you don't know that this person was a veteran. Exactly. And so this right. is what you guys are dealing with. It's not uh, uh, like that you're at the airport waiting for somebody to get off right. and they, they, they get in, you know what I mean? So you're dealing with, you're dealing with people that really need the help and exactly. that has served and everything. Uh, life, life offered many different curves, and they just need some help and everything. Right. You was there anything you want to say at this time? We got about uh, three minutes left. Um, um, we appreciate all. The yes, I appreciate our, everything, and appreciate the family and friends that's helpful. And um, I'm just excited, and things is happening and helping my vets. Helping the American people. Yeah. And that's what you're doing. And I just hope that Barack Obama and the rest of Congress and everybody, uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi and everybody, you need to write everybody, you know. No, no, seriously, because, you know, um, even in some of the State of the Union addresses, you know, uh, they salute people for doing great work. I remember when, when uh, President Reagan was in office and uh, one of the airplanes went down in uh, uh, the Hudson River, I believe, in New York. Oh, no, no, fact, I'm sorry, in the Potomac River. And that State of the Union address in Washington, the, the Potomac River in Washington, I remember that State of the Union address, he honored the guy that, that jumped in there, parked his car on the highway and just dove into the river to save somebody, pull people out. So this way here is uh, definitely that work. And I see you have uh, some kind of uh, uh, poster you want to show us? Oh, yeah, well, look at that one. This is a banner. This is a banner. This is one of the banners that will be featured uh, in this year's parade. And I encourage people to come out to the parade, meet us, uh, talk with us. Some of the vets yes. will be there. Wow, this um, is beautiful. This is so nice. And it pretty much tells the whole story. It helps support the disabled and homeless veterans. Wow. You know, these veterans, uh, mind you, uh, we are in contract with the, uh, the Veteran Administration where they get their medical needs sure, and sure. services uh, tend to on a daily basis. Right, right, right. right so right. the VA is well aware, and they send us uh, some veterans themselves. Yeah, that's As a matter of fact, most of the veterans we have here have been referred to by the VA. Yeah. So, uh, well, I'm going to say this for you, we only got like a minute left. If you get a smaller sign, mm -hmm. that magnetic, that you can stick on the car, mm -hmm. and during yeah. the week I drive it when I that's on the car here. Yeah. Oh, you see, okay. you're just a little, you don't know, like they have a magnet. They can take that and make that smaller. Okay. You know what I mean? Get your number one, a telephone that's number, things of that nature. Yeah, yeah. For five days a week, I'll right, down the highway with it so people see it. <laughs> well, <you know>. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I'm 
that that's a good that's a good idea. And and and, and it's so good that that the, the VA do refer people uh, to you guys and everything because everybody wants a sense of home. Yes, definitely. And that's what you guys are offering. See, the VA is a hospital.